Hey guys, uh, it's Friday. Look at this. Come on. Come on, Chachi. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, today's Friday. Uh, the first day since uh, classes started. Chachi, come here. Give me my minky. First day since classes started. And I think I'm going to enjoy these classes. Uh, television production, editing, and writing for mass media. And then later on in March, it's, uh... Later on in March, it's time for filming. That's a four-week class, but, like, the classes take the entire day. So, that, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, television production looks really fun because a lot of editing is done um, multicam. So, you know, there are, they have an entire setup, an entire, like, uh, CPU thing that's made for not only live editing, but multi-camera editing and printing to tape. So you could do a whole show live and, you know, do that. that because that's what television production is. It's so different from film and yet so similar. Uh, film, film, you have a bit more time, and, you know. A film might take one and a half years to make, or two and a half years. There's, you know, that that's kind of their timetable. From pre-production to post-production, it's about one and a half years, two years. And I'm sort of being, sort of being generous. So like, for television. Your term over time has to be a week at the most, maybe a month. And when you think about like news programs, that's daily, not only daily, like increments of five hours. So like, you know, that's a heck of a lot quicker of a turnout in time. So you kind of have to get used to editing on the fly and by the seat of your pants because you need to pump out shows like that. That was, and that's a big uh, thing with, uh, with, with editing. Uh, one of these days I am going to get a Premiere Pro or even uh, get a Mac and a, and a Final Cut. Because those actually have multicam editing. And, you know, because editors, like, people who design editing program, they're designed with not only editors in mind, but, like, film and television in mind, you know. And fil a lot of the film classes are like, you, well, you can do with, uh, you can do a lot with one camera, and that's true, but, you know, to get that timing correctly, you know, you have takes to choose from. In television, you don't have that many takes to choose one. Cho choose one? Choose from. You know, so... Yeah. I'm, I'm going to enjoy television edit, uh, production. Uh, I know that. Um, advanced digital editing. Taking that. It's, it's actually a lot better than... Um, it's a lot, it's a better class than the first two because editing one, because the first two classes are basically learning a program. Editing one is Final Cut, editing two is uh, Premiere. This one, you have free reign over whatever software you want. And that's a good thing because the class allows itself to be more more of a technique class, you know, like 
this last week we just delved right into it and talked about compositing something you can do on any on any machine in you know and he was telling us about how different techniques to use to compo composite a shot and you know these are really advanced techniques unfortunately you need that <laughs> unfortunately you need an editor that can that that can uh yeah so that's been my day um that's been my week um if i'm allowed to i i may like do a vlog from well even if because even if like i'm not allowed to film classes uh I do have some projects that will require me to go out, go out and, you know, uh, do a segment with a person, you know, do a, do a segment with talent. So that's, uh, that I'm, I'm lacking my classes, uh, writing for mass media. It's an, it's a writing class. I took it because a class didn't make and the teacher's kind of a hard kind of hard but she's also understanding so she tries to accommodate a bit too much um but that's another thing that that's pretty much been my week i have um I have actually a couple of announcements to make. I am starting a new vlog series. Uh, the This on-the-go life vlog is still going to go up, but I'm going to start making storytelling vlogs. Uh, if, you've, if you guys know about Counter Monkey from the Spoonie one, uh, Counter Monkey is basically Spoonie telling the audience about his past experience in uh, in D and D and role playing games. And that's cool. This these storytelling vlogs are more like Counter Monkeys for life because I have a couple of like weird random stories that you know that are from even before I started the, the vlog. You know this vlog. You know, so I'm I'm going to write a couple, not like I say write more like just organize the speech. I'm going to try to release uh release at least one at least one by Valentine's Day because that one's actually themed. <laughs> anyway, so that's been my week, and you know what, and. You know, in the comments, tell me about if you're still in college, or still, if you're still in school, tell me about your first, you know, your first week. I think most schools are uh, coming back. Tell me about your first week. If you're out of school by now, uh, tell me, tell me about your, you know, a, a memorable first week that you've had, you know. Uh, what am I saying? Yeah, just tell me about a memorable class that you've had. Anyway, Chachi tired herself out because I'm just talking and she's just, <laughs> she just got back from, from outside. Uh, I've been Rico Fernandez, you've been you, and this has been the vlog. I shall see you tomorrow.